If Joe comes out smoking, I ain't gonna be joking. I'll be pecking and a poking, pouring water on his smoking. This might shock and amaze you, but I will retire Joe Frazier. I have a lot of speed and a lot of endurance. Wanna meet Frazier, he'll need more insurance. I'm glad he can sing and has a band for hire because after this fight, he must retire. And you can hear the people say, leaving New York City, that Joe Frazier was really a pity. You're ready. I'm ready. I feel the same way. I'm ready and I'm going to take him too. I'm ready and I'm ready. Muhammad Ali, born Cassius Marcellus Clay, trains for the fight of his life against Joe Frazier in New York next Monday. At stake, Frazier's world heavyweight title. The crown was twice snatched from Muhammad by the boxing establishment, who prevented him plying his trade as a fighter for three years because of his refusal to serve in Vietnam. Now, as anyone with ears can hardly have failed to notice, he is back and ready for another shot at the title he never lost in the ring. His presence in a shabby gym in downtown Miami is proof of his contention that boxing needs Muhammad more than he needs boxing. He bestows grace on a tatty sport. People who know nothing of the fight game come to see him do his thing. His two-hour workout is his own personal daily homage to his body. And he is beautiful. Michelangelo's David come to life. It has been proclaimed the fight of the century, and so it may be. It is the stuff of which promoters' dreams and fortunes are made. A brilliant boxer against a vicious slugger. It is certainly the boxing payoff of the century. Satellite and closed-circuit television will beam the fight live to three million cash customers throughout the world, including 90,000 of them at 4 a.m. in Britain. Each fighter will receive more than a million pounds. The promoters, drawn fittingly enough from the world of show business, expect to bank at least double that. Muhammad has no doubt about the fight's place in the cosmic order. This thing is bigger than boxing. People are watching this fight in countries that don't watch fights. People, women, people of all races that don't come to fights. There's never been an event in the history of the planet Earth this big. And if you want to challenge me, call anybody. World watched in all countries, even back to Arabia and the holy city of Mecca all back in Egypt, all back in Syria, Pakistan, all back in Estonia, Russia, Red China, Vietnam, people actually waiting for the outcome who don't follow nothing from America. This is the biggest event in the history of the whole planet Earth. <laughs>